Hello, my name is Graham Brown. This is Escape the Cubicle. So what is a lifestyle entrepreneur? I consider myself a lifestyle entrepreneur, but it's not a title that I've always been comfortable with. I think lifestyle entrepreneurs are enjoying a second wave. There's a sort of coming of age of lifestyle entrepreneurs in the last few years because it wasn't always seen as being the best option for any entrepreneur, especially by the macho startup community. But today, thanks to the growth of lean thinking, radical business models, and the internet, we're witnessing an emergence of a second generation of lifestyle entrepreneurs who are both making very good money and doing what they love. And not only are lifestyle entrepreneurs in control of their business and their work, they have time to do more of what makes them happy, whether that's time with the family, time to travel the world, or time to do something crazy like an Ironman triathlon. So here's why I believe being a lifestyle entrepreneur is the ultimate choice for anyone who wants to bring back more time, freedom and creativity into their lives. See, the lifestyle entrepreneur is a new class of entrepreneur, a class that has come into the fore in recent years, thanks to all the things that I just mentioned. But there's also been a whole series of books published about being lifestyle entrepreneurs. Whether they've called them lifestyle entrepreneurs or not, they've really shaped this movement. I'm thinking about books like The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, The 7-Day Startup by Dan Norris, and The $100 Startup by Chris Guillebeau. You know, these books have redefined what it is to be a lifestyle entrepreneur and, importantly, told us what's possible. Now, lifestyle entrepreneurs, in my definition, are entrepreneurs who do what they love and make good money out of doing it. This is what it means to escape the cubicle, to break out of the comfort zone offered to us by these dominant narratives, the comfort of being a salaried employee, the comfort of being a traditional entrepreneur whose path is clearly marked out for them. Unlike salaried employees, lifestyle entrepreneurs want choice and control over their time and creativity. Unlike traditional entrepreneurs, the goal of a lifestyle entrepreneur is not to exit and sell the business. The goal is to keep playing the game, keep doing what you love. This is a critical difference and made possible when a lifestyle entrepreneur combines the lifestyle business with an investment business. So, why is a lifestyle business a good idea? Well, lifestyle entrepreneurs build their lifestyle business in such a way that it's semi-automated. That gives them the time, or the luxury of time, unlike salaried employees and traditional entrepreneurs. And lifestyle entrepreneurs should also make enough extra cash flow in their business to invest that cash flow into an investment business that makes money while they sleep. This is a key difference and a benefit from a traditional entrepreneurial exit because in this model, the lifestyle entrepreneur isn't gambling his or her future on whether or not their business gets acquired. The investment business gives them more control and certainty. And when your overheads are low, you can choose how you want to use your time. You can say no to the stuff, the people and the work that doesn't get your heart beating faster. You can do more of the work that inspires you and importantly, more of the work that makes you missable in the eyes of your customers. And when you have time, you have choice. And that's what it's ultimately all about. You know, Bob Dylan once said that a man is a success if he gets up in the morning and goes to bed at night and in between, he does what he likes. That's what we all want, choice. Choice means we can build the business around our dream lifestyle rather than shoehorn the lifestyle into the business as an afterthought. Too many CEOs and founders end up with businesses that make them unhappy or ones that they feel they are losing control of when too many people get involved in the decision making. The secret to happiness, as I've written here already, is simple. Do more of what makes you happy. If your family makes you happy, design a lifestyle that allows you to spend more time with them, allows you to create experiences together through your business. If endurance sports makes you busy, hands up, that's me, design a lifestyle that allows you to spend more time training, more time interacting with crazy triathletes who inhabit the scene. 
Your lifestyle business is the means to achieve that end, not the end in itself. In the $100 startup, author Chris Guillebeau talks about the accidental entrepreneurs. These are lifestyle entrepreneurs who choose this path because they had to. People pulled them into the market. They demanded their services. Something that once started as a weekend hobby or a side business ended up generating six figures within 12 months. You know, lifestyle entrepreneurs are no less entrepreneurial than their traditional counterparts. Just because they prioritize lifestyle over work doesn't mean they avoid risks. In many cases, lifestyle entrepreneurs left comfortable salaried lives because they ultimately craved risks. And the lifestyle business is the riskiest business of all because often it's just you. And often there isn't a clear business model that you can follow as we're the traditional entrepreneur. So why is now a good time for lifestyle entrepreneurs? Well, there's the wealth of books like those I've already mentioned and those I review regularly on upschoolbookreviews.com, which is a resource for lifestyle entrepreneurs. Customers are increasingly demanding more human experiences from brands. That's why we see the rise of brands like Starbucks over McDonald's and Apple over Microsoft. Just look at how airlines fare in the media these days. Big companies are suffering from what I call diseconomies of scale. This need for humane brands combined with transparency and some vulnerability means people are willing to forego their preconceptions about what a company or brand should be, e.g. big offices, large complement of staff, etc. And in its place, they get a more direct personal relationship. That means a lifestyle entrepreneur can compete with a big brand, not on the basis of scale, but on the basis of being more human. There's also a growth in radical business models that has emerged as a result of the perfect storm of ideas, i.e. lean startup, lifestyle entrepreneurship, digital nomads, location independence, and the internet. These include, but are not exclusive list, dropshipping, affiliate marketing, internet marketing, etc. Unlike some traditional startups and big companies, lifestyle entrepreneurs can operate under the radar and connect with customers without being seen for as long as they need to. This is a powerful advantage. You can go out and make mistakes without public scrutiny. You can stay small, agile and lean while the big guys struggle with bureaucracy and committees. And lastly, you can start a business for less than $100. Yes, it's possible. Chris Guillebeau wrote a book about it. That means you don't need investment, you don't need a loan, you can stay lean as long as possible. You shouldn't be borrowing money or getting investment until you need the capital to scale. And even then, that's an option rather than the default path for a lifestyle entrepreneur. You don't need a business plan to put that down. You don't need an office, a team, a job titles, lawyers, business cards. You can shortcut All the crap associated with starting a business that complicates everything and slows you down. In fact, you don't need a business until you have customers, which means if it doesn't work out, you have little to lose. That's my summary of what I believe a lifestyle entrepreneur is. It's a work in progress summary, but it helps answer that question because there isn't really a definition out there. But I believe that lifestyle entrepreneurship is something that's going to grow in the next generation and certainly something that will become a strong option for young people coming through. Young people may decide that they may not go to college and choose to become a lifestyle entrepreneur instead. People may leave their businesses and choose to become a lifestyle entrepreneur instead. Or people may leave jobs and pursue the course of being a lifestyle entrepreneur, not because it's second best, but it's the best option out there.